So, all right, let's start this stream. So, let us uh, talk about the agenda that we have today in mind. So, first, uh, we will be building, and as you can see from the title of the stream as well, it is video.connect. So, we would be taking a look uh, at creating how to create a video call application that a full stack application with APIs uh, for creating the video call sessions and even the front end where the uh, we participants can join in to an existing stream or create a new video call session. We will be covering all of that and uh, how uh, we are going to do this. We will be uh, taking a look at the Vonage video API that was formerly called the uh, open uh, open talk the talk box open talk offering so uh, i am editing the description as we speak as while known as open talk and then we would be having uh, how to use that how to set it up and we will be building an application and how it looks let's take a look at that and as we uh, as we can see that uh, let me change the view a little bit and yes so this is a Vue.js application so using Vue.js and Express.js we will be uh, creating the entire application the Express uh, Express will handle all our uh, APIs for creating and managing all the credentials and tokens uh, for the video call sessions and then view will be used for the front end so at the finished product let us take a look at it uh, all the code will be given uh, in a github repository and that link to that is also given in the description itself so let's begin so in the Vue.js application we have a new route a page a component called room so if we go to the room component it will take us here and then we have our video we have joined and this is our room code as you would see in other competitors uh, as well in other offerings so this is the room code that i need uh, to join to this uh, video call session that is going on over here i can mute myself over here and even unmute and mute myself so we will be building all these features and how we come about this and let me just send this link to other devices that I have. I have a phone. So let me send this to my phone and let me join in from my phone and phone as well. So I have now sent a link to my phone and, and let, let me mute myself here. And as you can see uh, that, yes, uh, I can now take a look at my phone also and that is a different participant altogether. Uh, it could be anyone. So that is uh, the basic uh, output that we will be building. And even when I uh, uh, move out of the focus, if I uh, lock my phone, then uh, they can hear my audio, but no, I cannot see their video. But if, if they had their audio turned on, as you can see, the some audio is coming from their side, but I have uh, muted them. them. So yeah, that works. So uh, and this is privacy centric also. If a user goes out of focus, so their video feed is uh, hidden. Then I come again to that and uh, screen on my phone. And if I uh, close the tab on my phone, so I have now exited that session and in a moment that stream disappears so that participant has left our video call so pretty uh, cool right and this is very simple using the uh, Vonage video API offering that was called uh, the open talk talk box open talk and we will be using that to make this application so let's get started without further ado uh, let me take a quick look at the stream chat okay no one here let's go so this is the github repository that i have created uh, for this so you will uh, you can find all of the code here uh, this is the back end as well as the front end code the front end code will be in the client folder and uh, what is uh, vonage vonage uh, is a 
a company that is offering all of these uh, communication APIs for the developers to develop their applications from scratch using any language of their choice, programming language of their choice. So today we will be looking at the programmable uh, video API offering. So this is the video API. It is a WebRTC based platform. All the stream processing and everything is handled by the uh, OpenTalk servers themselves. So we do not need to uh, take care of that aspect. We can also start a recording and uh, stop the recording or pause the recording anytime we please using the API itself. So uh, when you sign up for the Vonage video API, you get also get a $10 credit and uh, you would get to this screen as you can see i also have 10 credits left 10 dollar credits left so when uh, you sign up uh, for that uh, vonage uh, video api open talk so uh, click on this uh, button right here it would take it to the sign up page and then you would uh, create an account for yourself and for the first time if you are setting this up you would need to create a first uh, project that i have as you can see uh, i have a test project so when you create a new project you would be also given an api key and api secret that you need to take care of and uh, save it somewhere safe because you would need uh, you would need to use those uh, to actually uh, do the things that we will be building up from and then uh, there is this Vonage Video API developer guide that I will be using all throughout this live stream. And then we have some sample applications that have been created for our reference. You can check this out. All of these are on uh, hosted on GitHub. You would have uh, backends ranging from PHP, .NET, Ruby, Java, Node, and Python. We would be using the Node. Uh, we will be using Node.js today. So let us get started doing that as well. So uh, let me first hop into a terminal. Uh, hope you can see that uh, I am zooming it in a bit. So first, what do we need to get started? We would, I would uh, use a yarn for uh, creating the Node.js project. You can also use npm, but I like I prefer uh, yarn over npm uh, because it it tends to be a bit faster uh, according to my experience so i am going to this folder that i use for javascript projects and like let, uh, let me make a new directory uh, let's call it uh, video connect let us call it video connect and let's go into video connect and do yarn in it to uh, this would create i am just creating the backend right now and we would also get forward to the front end logic but let's create the backend first so yarn in it so um, it is asking what should be the npm package name uh, we will not be publishing it to npm but for the package.json video connect seems good version looks good description we don't need it right now index.js is the entry point so that is cool looks good to me repository url we don't have any repository url as of now author let's skip it mit license works fine private i would skip go with the default so it has created the package.json file so uh, let's take a look at it uh, i would open another terminal and go to that folder so what do we have video connect dot so we have let me zoom in a bit so we have this package dot json ready for our use let's close it right now let me open the terminal and let's start adding a few things so uh, first i would add is express itself for the api and uh, then we have dot n for the environment variables that we will be using and then we have to use course for the uh, request 
uh, request uh, it is for the uh, cross origin resource sharing thing that this error comes up if you uh, let's say that you have a resource and api endpoint on some other domain you cannot actually make a ajax calls api calls from your javascript client side javascript to that because it would be uh, it would not be having the course pre uh, pre-flight fetch header so that is one of the things you can take a look at the mozilla uh, documentation for that that is the for the course let us actually open up what is course so cross origin resource sharing uh, this is to just for a, well, a security standpoint so to for that we need course and i would use morgan for logging out the http requests for debugging and then uh, let's start with this first do we need anything else we would be using mongodb for the uh, database so mongoose okay and then uh, our body parser and uh, body parser is built in into express itself so we don't need it but we need cookie parser because we would be using sessions cookie parser and then what do we need we need open talk of course the server side code and then uh, i would be using nano id because we have to identify each video call session i am calling it room for the stream for the application we would be using because session is a keyword that uh, the vonage platform itself uses the open talk platform so that for uh, that is how far that goes nano id i would need and let's see so i would add those let us wait for the packages to install and those have those have been added let me create a dot get ignore file ignore uh, file save participants dot get no yes that file got a stray file got created so in that i need a node module so it would ignore the node modules folder if we make it to get if we initialize a git repository right here and for de de development dependencies i would need uh yad not yad yarn add developer dependencies i would add a node mon now i would also like uh, to use this time to set up some linting and uh, linting to chain so es lint prettier vs code uh, i would search and then let's see uh, how we can set up es lint and prettier so i would copy that string go in here yarn add and paste that in so that looks good to me so let's take a look at package.json okay looks good to me then let us add a new script uh, dev let's call it dev if i can type dev and this would be nodemon inspect flag for the debugging so it uh, what nodemon does is it keeps on refreshing and relaunching our server every time we make a change to one of the source files pretty useful and then uh, let us create a dot eslint rc for eslint configuration uh, it would uh, do the automatic formatting as we save things uh, let us go with what is recommended according to this blog post right here so looks good and we would need to add a few certain uh, extra features so environment i am you i would be using es6 javascript so es6 is true and this would be in node true and parser options ecma version will be uh, 2021 let's say that is good for me now we have to also create prettier rc for prettier to pick these changes up let us copy this part paste it here i i prefer double string so i would 
make it false otherwise that looks good to me so let we have set it up so then let's go and set up our api so let's make an index.js file right here so if i create an index.js file uh, we need express it's supposed to require express and uh, we need to bring in course require course we need cookie parser is equal to require cookie parser mm, then we need morgan itself so for logging require morgan so as i saved it already automatically added all the semicolons for me looks good now now let us instantiate app uh, and express application so app is equals to express then we would use the course middleware then use the morgan middleware for logging morgan tiny it just gives us what we need it for uh, all not all the information and we should also go ahead and use express.json middleware for handling for uh, api calls and stuff and express dot url encoded let's say extended is equals to true extended is true and then use cookie parser app dot use cookie parser and what does cookie parser need it needs a secret uh, let's say secret is secret one two three now that is okay app uh, then now, now we would need to listen we have not specified any routes as of now but uh, let's just say app dot get at the root and then get the request and the response objects and send the json response back that the message is okay now we would need to start up the server so we would have to listen in on some port and we need to declare that above as well so i will bring in the port variable from the environment variables process.env.port otherwise if that is not set i would use 5000 i guess 5000 is occupied because i we were running the demo application yes 5000 is occupied so i would quit out of that and now 5000 should be not occupied that is okay so app.listen we can use this port variable here and then a callback function uh, for the list uh, once the app application starts listening uh, we will console.log uh, i am using template strings here so listening on http on all networks on the port as specified by the port variable so that is okay let's try running this yarn dev so it is listening on this port let us see if it is listening on that port let me open up a new browser here and localhost let us go to 5000 yes it has sent message okay yes our endpoint is working correctly so we have this sorted now we need to create some routes and uh, set up all our other applications or uh, all our other configuration as well so i am creating a new folder for config and i will be putting all the database configuration and all other configuration stuff here and then we need another folder called routes and 
after routes we would need something for models because we will be saving all this room information and the session information to a database in mongodb so that would be uh, good for that bit and once uh, those three folders have been created let's start with the routes i would uh, call it uh, let's say uh, rooms.js i need uh, the dot env uh, let us take a look at the environment variables that we will be using so uh, if we have the environment variables uh, like this we would need three things open talk key that would be found on the dashboard that uh, open talk dashboard uh, and open talk secret and that's about it for the backend so i already have all of these uh, in my other application i have this information so let me just uh, move over to that application and copy these values over so i am going to my environment variable and also uh, we would be adding a mongo uh, data mongodb database right here so for that also that works perfectly fine you can also add the mongodb mongo uri mongo underscore uh, mongo underscore uri in here as well uh, as you can see uh, like in this format in this fashion uh, so let me just copy and paste all of this over while you guys are not watching so i have now saved it I have saved the .env file and closed it and now let us go back to this application so yeah that is fine so now we would use require because we need the environment variables that were defined in the .env file so we need .env .config to initialize that and then let's say we need express to require express const uh, we need a router and that would be express dot router so we have initialized that as well uh, router let's say dot route Router dot get we uh, we can use the HTTP verb here itself. So uh, if we get uh, the root, then let us make this call back. This handler function. This is the HTTP handler. So uh, I can just say JSON message uh, router reached. Let's just say that it is that only for now uh, we will be building out the application logic in just a bit so module.exports let me export this router so we have exported this router and let's now delete this part and say app.use if the route matches this uh, prefix that is uh, slash api slash rooms then use this uh, router uh, that is in my routes directory and we have rooms it is uh, not able to okay require i made a spell typo error here so now yeah that is working fine let us go back to the browser uh, it cannot get the root it is fine but can it get api slash room cs the router reached so let us build up from here mm, now uh, for the for creating a video call sessions uh, what the uh, usual workflow is that uh, let us take a look at the developer guide so we have to create a video call session and for that if i if we go to the overview 
uh, what actually happens is that we can create a relayed and routed sessions as well so a relayed is uh, it is a peer to peer connection that is uh, participants are sending their stream data directly to each other and the routed means it is going through the open talk servers the video stream is going and that is that thing and how to create a session let us to take a look at the node.js thing and we would also have to uh, save all of this in a database so we would we better uh, set that up as well as you can see that we have to first uh, create a new instance of the open talk of open talk with the api key and the api secret and we can create a session by just calling create session method in the open talk and then we have we have a callback which would get as access to the session so let's get started so if we have something like this so uh, let us say that uh, we would have to instantiate that as well with some api key so better put that in a separate file altogether copy this part and we need uh, open talk from the open talk uh, npm uh, module that we just had installed in the beginning so we need open talk and module uh, dot exports new open talk it would uh, export a new open talk instance with uh, what process dot env dot api uh, open talk mm, i am freezing right here it is uh, really cold over here in delhi open talk key and process dot env dot open talk secret so that is as far as open talk configuration goes let us also take this time to set up a nano id.js because uh, what is nano id so nano id let us uh, go to the github repository itself so it is a unique string generator in uh, written in J a javascript as a, it is available as an npm module so uh, when we call it it just uh, gives us a it is uh, gives us a unique string like an uuid uid unique id but it is faster than the uuid library version 4 that we uh, typically tend to use but the problem with this is that it or sometimes it puts some special characters in there like underscores and dashes and all so we need to skip that so for that we would be using a custom alphabet so as you can see in uh, this example right here uh, if we make it a custom alphabet if we call the custom alphabet uh, constructor right here so then we can have an url friendly a short uh, code you can say so we would be using this nano id library uh, we had uh, actually uh, yes we had installed the nano id thing so we need custom alphabet uh, from nano id am i actually audible uh, we had yes i am i am I had a panic attack. Okay, so new ID and then module dot exports equals to uh, custom alphabet. What do we need the custom al custom alphabet to be? Custom alphabet should be this thing only. I can. It has only the numbers uh, and it is length. The length of the unique ID, ID will be 10 characters that is uh, fine but we can make it shorter let's say six characters a b c d e f so that works and um, we have exported that as well and we have open talk.js open talk has been configured so uh, let us uh, try one thing let us bring in nano id Here just to experiment a bit nano id is equals to require if i can type 
config and this go let's go to nano id it cannot find because yes that is not correct but if we do this it should be fine but it still crashed uh require is not defined custom okay we i had another typo right here so now it is working so if i go ahead and refresh this page we can see that we get an unique id that works so we have nano id configured uh, then let us configure uh, what else do we need to configure uh, we will see so uh, open talk let's bring in open talk const uh, uh, open talk uh, i am really sorry for the background noise but uh, config let's go to the config folder and bring in open talk and then we can say that open talk dot create session let's save it in a session uh, variable let's say called session is equal to open talk create session and the session options uh, would be what would be the session options uh, do we need to uh, do something else let us take a look new open talk no we need, just need to we do not need to pass any uh, api keys or secrets we would have to specify the media mode in media mode and let's just say routed better quality routed will have better quality because you are not limited by the bandwidth between the peers so uh, as far as that is concerned that is done then we would have a callback an error and session so if we have an error that is if error uh, then what we can do is uh, console dot error we can log it to the console uh, error and uh, then we can have a uh, uh, we can return out of this this is a guard clause right here but we can also uh, res dot uh, we can send a response to the client as well otherwise it would time out uh, dot json that there was some which error there was some error and the error was that uh, mm, create session error let's say uh, error was create session error and the message was error dot message uh, that is uh, looking good let's get rid of that and uh, otherwise we would have the session object and we can uh, we have the session object and we can destructure the session id out of that because every video call session would have a session id so let's destructure that out of session and then just uh, send a json a response back we don't need nano id anymore uh, we can send a response that my session id is this and also uh, when we create a session and we want a client to join in we would need to create a token uh, for that for so to create a token that would grant, grant access to a client we would need to use the generate token method in the open talk itself so let's say that const token is equal to set, uh, open talk open talk dot um, generate token and the session id would be session id uh, that is good and then we can just send the token back let's now refresh and as you can see we get a session id as well as a token so this is all we need uh practically for that because uh, we have an api key we can send that to the client anytime let's actually uh, do that let's send uh, the api key as well uh, the api key would be in process dot env the api key is not actually of concern but the api secret uh, is very useful to be protected so ap uh, open talk key open talk in uppercase key. and uh, let me refresh uh, yes, I have a API key, a session ID, and a token. 
that is fine now uh, we need to save <coughs> uh, excuse me so we need to save this uh, information in the database as well because otherwise uh, the session id is too long for a user to share even so uh, let us make a mapping from uh, room id that is a uh, video room video call room to a uh, talk box or open talk session we have to map those two things so uh, let me define so let us set up mongodb right now so db.js i am creating a new file and let us bring in dot env configuration and then uh, let's say that mongoose equals to require mongoose uh, then we have uh, what do we need to do hmm? let's take a look at the mongoose uh, documentation so what do you need to do for uh, connecting to a mongodb database so as you can see that we have to just do this so let me make it in a function so i will export a function for initial initializing all our database so module dot exports is equal to it will be a function it will do mongoose dot connect and the connection string will be process dot env dot mongo uri uh, i am using mongodb atlas for this uh, uh, you can also go to uh, mongodb atlas and uh, create your own uh, cloud uh, mongodb instance so for that uh, you would just then you can get the mongo uri from this uh, button connect button on your cluster and you would uh, copy that and paste it here the user and the network also has to be the network access has to be granted in the atlas uh, dashboard itself otherwise you would not be able to connect so as far as that is done then we have to use the new url parser set it to true and use unified topology set that to true and what else let us take a look back at the documentation and uh, okay so mongoose dot connection and we can uh, we can see when it has connected so let us do that as well uh, mongoose dot connection uh, dot on error we have to uh, we are printing that out to uh, the console and if that connection is successful and the database is now connected then uh, we are uh, doing another thing what thing uh, we should uh, probably print it out to the console that we have successfully connected back to the database so console.log database connected uh ellipse is good but bad i don't know whatever so let's just save it and take a look uh, at how we can initialize this so in the uh, index.js itself i would bring in const uh, db init is equals to require Mm, config db and i would say that i initialize the db right here not fbi not again db in it just call it and as we can see the database has been connected so we have an access but how do we save it to the database for that we would need a model of a room so let's just see room.js is the model that we need uh, for that we also need a schema so for schema we would need uh, to do this thing mongoose.schema so let us do it let us first bring in mongoose how do we bring in mongoose uh, let us go to uh, this thing we can copy this string so we uh, brought in mongoose and uh, let's say const room schema is equal to new mongoose dot schema and the id would be at some point we would also need to bring in a nano id so yes let's bring it in now 
uh, open talk instead of open talk we would be using nano id and the uh, it would be a type the type would be string of the id uh, what mongodb would used it as an identifier we are overriding that so style uh, the type will be string and the default would be uh, whatever nano id generates and then we would have uh, something called the stream id that we are keeping a track of and this would also be a string and what am i doing the type is string uh, and the required is true uh, let's uh, that is enough i guess for now and then just module uh, let's just export it as uh, new mongoose dot model uh, it would be a room and the schema would be the room schema so we have that uh, correct be configured then in the api itself uh, we can now uh, bring in our model uh, that would be would be bringing in room like this models uh, so we have access to the room let's just say that now when we have generated the session id and the token uh, we also do something like this uh, we make a new instance of a room goes to new room this is uh, whatever is happening right now is when we do not have any uh, room id we are just creating it from scratch the first room has to be created if uh, there is no room that is present uh, with that id or such things like that we are taking care of that so uh, new id the session id would be um, we are actually declaring it uh, below this so let us make it above so that is okay and then we have the session id and we will await this is a uh, room dot save uh, let us save it to the database now save uh, will return a promise we need to await for that to resolve but uh, this would not work uh, because we don't have an async function so i made it asynchronous so now that would actually work so after room save is done uh, we can also uh, just send it back to the client the id of the room that we just created so underscore id uh, I missed a comma so that is uh, as far as that is done so const session uh, we don't actually need this session object so let us put all of this in a try catch block for better error handling so I will we will try all of these things otherwise if any error comes then what will we do we will console log it we will log it to the console and send a uh, session that send an error that uh, this would was a create and uh, get a room uh, details create and get a room details error and that was the error message uh, let's just say because we don't know if whether there is a message property within message object or property within error so uh, that is looking fine to me so this is the first route let us see that works mm. now, uh, now I will be refreshing this if I refresh what is there any error yes there is an error there is a room validation failed stream id is required ah we called it stream id and not session id it would be session id yep mistakes happen things break okay now let us do again and do we get an error no but we got something else yes 200 success so we got a room id this is the this was in this is found in the mongodb as well this is the mongodb room id that we created for that object we have a session id for this room so this room uh, 72e255 maps to this session and this is the api key 
and this is the token that we, that is all that is needed by the client side the front end now let us uh, quickly uh, copy this and make another route that would be a slash room id if there is a room id then we have to uh, not create a session if there is a if the room already exists then we assume that the session also exists so we do not need to create a new session so uh, we would get rid of that but now we will be bringing in a room id from the request parameters request.params and the session id uh, uh, would be let's just say uh, room dot find await uh, room dot find one where the id is uh, uh, room id and uh, if that is okay so uh, why is room not whatever asynchronous function let us make it yes uh, what happened a try catch block okay uh, we have something extra Do we have something extra yes we have so yeah that uh, that uh, then we are finding a room uh, uh, per that room id then we are generating the token for that session and uh, we are not we will not be saving it uh, but just sending the response back so that is good enough so room dot id uh, we found a room for that uh, room id is room id we don't need to destructure that out but then again uh, so now let us go to uh, we, let us copy this and uh, duplicate this tab and let's go to api slash room slash this thing right here so yes uh, we get the same session id back uh, create and get room details error no this would be if there is an error at this part so get room details error would be there and that is all we need for the api side but uh, as we set up the uh, client side application we also need to make sure of a few things because we will be using vue.js uh, what is view or what is Vue.js? It is a JavaScript uh, framework, and it actually gives a pretty good developer experience along with the Vonage APIs, of course. So uh, Vue.js and uh, Express with the Vonage Video API. Boom. Uh, let me take a look at the stream chat. Is there someone there? Nope. Okay. Uh, now let us. Uh, search how do we do this uh, what do we do view uh, there is a we will be using the view router so view history mode we have to set that up on express uh, so we will be using view routers history mode so that we can avoid those hashes in the url so how do we do that yep 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 we need this package so let us add it. Uh, let me open another terminal right here and we are add this thing. We added that to our uh, application. And then what do we have to do? We have to do this thing. Okay. So I have dot use history express static. Now uh, they are using the source directory for serving, but we would have a client directory and a distribution all the build files would be in dist so uh, not source but client dist let me update that as well uh, and we will uh, history is not defined i know that so because we did not uh, require it at the top so uh, that is as far as that goes so okay hmm we have our api it is uh, very important that we put our api routes above this thing because otherwise it would uh, all of the routes would go back to the index.html file because we will be using view 
a single page application thing will be there so view router will handle all the routes for us and we will not be using uh, express uh, for that to navigate around so that is as far as our backend goes we will check back later if you need something uh, let's keep it running and now let's uh, go to another terminal and uh, let's create a new view application view create client I would manually select my features I would go with view 2 and yes lint plus, plus prettier lint on save in package um, in dedicated config files nope uh, what uh, this will give me uh, is a boilerplate code. I would also need to use the view router, I guess. Yes. Did I uh, miss specifying that? But we can add it uh, later again. And we will not. Uh, we will also be needing Axios for me http calls uh, fetch api you can also use that but i prefer axios let us take a look at uh, what package.json got generated let us uh yep uh, yep 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 view router is not there are we actually in client no we are not in client we are now in client and the view yes view router is not installed yarn add sorry view add uh router yes we would use history mode for router and uh, view add axios I will be uh, proceeding I know that there are uncommitted changes uh, let me just get rid of the git directory here rm uh, dot rm minus rf dot git and uh, there was an error let us take a look at that what was that error I guess it is in the plugins itself but it generated yes I did find this error also but then again it is okay so this is a basic view application that has been generated uh, let us take a look at that what is this thing uh, what do we have in our package.json in the so we have video connect so let us also name this as video connect client uh, that is okay and do do we need anything else we will see we have axios as well and webpack is configured for us babel is configured we don't actually need a lot of stuff right now but uh, i guess uh, something will complain because some things will be complained about because we don't have the ESLint config pretty no we have VS ESLint config prettier so what are we lacking uh, let us also add it anyway config prettier let me take a look at the, the application that, that we already built and there we go I leaked my credentials but I hope you didn't see that uh, then we have this again I would be not using that obviously uh, in production but still let's see at the package or JSON what we have here an ESLint RC that is prettier recommended and uh, plugins prettier so we need that plugins prettier here as well in my ESLint RC uh, do we have that? No, we don't have that. We need to add that. Plugins. Uh, right here. And it extends uh, view prettier. Right Looks good to me. 
uh, we need a prettier RC also. So I will just copy this over dot prettier RC. Semi true. Tab width use tabs false. That is good. Uh, and it would also complain about the JS config.js file not being there. Will it complain? Let's just see. App dot view. Yep. JS config.json not found. Let us quickly add that. JS config.json. It is just a tooling issue. Uh, nothing to worry about. JSON config uh, dot JSON. JSON config way to which is the tooling extension, way to extension I use for that. Uh, let us let me copy it uh, directly from my actual project that we have. What do I have here? In the client, I have a JS config or JSON. Uh, now it should not, it should stop complaining. And here we have an uh, view app, uh, view component. Did it fix or not fix the issue? Yes, it is now auto formatting all of these things. So, hmm. so this is the app component that we have in view. Uh, by the default, let us let us start serving it yarn serve uh, serve if i can spell that out correctly it is starting the development server for live reloading and stuff so it is available at 8080 let me uh, close out of a few things right here and let us go to 8080 so we have this uh, view uh, application that we just uh, scaffolded or bootstrapped and uh, now we need to go uh, to another component we need to create another component and bring all of these uh, all of those things together that is the api key and the session id things and then make a client out of this so before that uh, we would need to create a component obviously let me turn on my do not disturb mode uh my friend would be using my spotify connection let us then just uh, add a router link to uh let's say slash mm, room and that would be room the label would be room and router link uh, that is as far as that goes let us take a look at the view router so here is this thing code splitting if I don't go to a particular route, uh, then view can actually split the code and do lazy loading. So I would not have to load the entire chunk, uh, bulky chunk of code, uh, bulky bundle. If, if we have a room, uh, then the uh, SDKs and all that can get pretty murky. So we need to uh, take care of that as well. So name would be room. Uh, code splitting I am enabling so uh, our chunk would be named room and we would be using room.view it failed because uh, room module was not found we know that uh, views about and home we have this mm, let us create a new view component uh, let us call it uh, room.view and scaffold this out of this thing uh, dev I would say that if uh, there is, we will take a look at that, but first let us name it room and let's say that uh, it has some data. What data does it have? Uh, the data is, it, it should have an API key. That is not um, that is null currently. Uh, we actually need to take care of the router because we will be using some routes. So the room ID we can directly get from this and make it optional. So if there is no room ID, it will be null. So uh, API key is this uh, room ID is this dot. We actually don't. Uh, we cannot actually use the. We cannot use the arrow functions because we will lose the scope of this pointer 
a reference this reference will be losing uh, because the context is not bound with the arrow functions you would have to use it this way so return api key and the room id would be uh, this dot router dot params dot uh, room id and if there is no room id then that will be an empty string and there is that would be an session id and that would be an empty string at the beginning and a token that would also be an empty string and when this uh, component is created we can actually make a request this dot axios dot get what do we need to get so we have this pretty neat feature with view that if we have a environment variable with this prefix view underscore app underscore we actually get that inside the view application itself so api base url i would say and api slash rooms and the room id would be uh, this dot room id if we have a room id of course otherwise it would be blank and then we will create a new room that will take care of itself so after that is done we get a response and uh, we can take a look at this and we can say uh, set that api key is equals to rest dot data because we will be get, uh, getting the api key from the uh, api itself this a dot api key is equals to rest dot data dot api key and this uh, dot room id will be set all again but we will be having it in the this thing as well in the response as well room id Uh, yes if there is no room id that is if not if there is no room id then we can set this room id otherwise and we would go ahead and set the session id as well as it is dot data dot session id and set the token as well this dot token is equal to this dot data dot token this could be a long stream but whatever digress and if there is an error uh, let's just uh, log it to the console okay so that looks good to me now we need to uh, define this uh, environment variable here in dot env somewhere so that would be equals to http for now it would be localhost 5000 and this uh, this should actually work and we can take a look at this now let us go to the room and uh, we don't have any error that's good thing uh, if we take a look at the, using the view dev tools we have a room And the params is uh, it is undefined the room id is undefined so uh did it actually pull in something yeah it did not because the request actually failed uh, slash undefined and uh, it it went through two different processes so uh, let us take a look at what happened because the env uh, environment variable was added i guess we need to restart the development server to make it uh, live again and now let us do this thing status code is 500 now it is undefined undefined uh, but it did a may did make a request at the local host is to 5000 slash api slash rooms slash undefined so the room id is undefined mm, we need to take care of this uh, this dot room id is undefined because why is it undefined let us say that i uh, put some text in the dom 
and then there is a view object a router link and there is this room it has some data right let us say uh, data yes this is just thing it is actually okay so why is this uh, room id undefined does this work if i just put it out of here and just make it an empty string cannot read room id of undefined this dot router dot params dot room id it would be missing then uh, so this dot route it, 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 should, it should not be router it should be route this dot route dot params now it should work yes as you can see we have the room id we have the api key and the session id and token all of that but we are still at slash room so this is not good user experience uh, we will push uh, this dot we will add this to the uh, address bar we will add this uh, we will do route dot push and mm, we will push the user to slash rooms slash uh, let's use a template string here and this would be this dot room id so if i if we now uh, refresh this thing this dot route dot push is not a function how do we use view router push uh, the api reference uh, router to push programmatic navigation yes that is what should be happening let's just say let me take a look again what we are doing this dot route dot push is a not and so let me take a look at the source code as in how did i do that uh, in the router so uh, we have this app view and this is the room and this was if we do not have uh, that uh, room id then we would uh, push it to I guess this is pretty similar to what we are doing. No, we are now pushing it to the router. That was route. This is router. So we are actually doing that pretty good. We are doing pretty well on that. That was just a simple error on my part so now we have router view and then we have this again so room and then we go to this thing but uh, if we have this now then why is it not showing room because we are in the same component right here if there is uh, no uh, room id parameter then we would go to that <laughs> rooms yes that is slash rooms and not and that is slash room and not slash rooms that was the error if we now go to room uh, it would uh, give uh, it would redirect us to this thing yes that is now working so we have a room id and that matches our route on the address bar itself we have the api key we have the session id and the token cool now uh, let us uh, do something with this because we have all of the information now we have the api key we have the session id we have the client side token uh, let us now create our session so for the session uh, we will say that uh, if we have a room so i would say that 
if we have the uh, API key or we if we have the token then uh, show this that this is the room with the room this room ID if, if you have a token then show that this is the room ID okay that is fine and then uh, let us create uh, another component now uh, there is this hello world component let us create a session dot view component in this session dot view component let us uh, initialize this with uh, empty div and let's say the name is session and it would accept uh, some props from its parent component so the props will be api key that would be a uh, of type string that is required now i will be just copying this and just uh, pasting this multiple times because all of the other stuff we have are also strings and we also need them so api key is here we have the room id we have the session id and we have the token as props and then again for data uh, data this data for the data part uh, we will have what do we what will we have we'll create a new session we will take a look at that but let's just say session is null right now and there could be many streams in a session because there can be many participants each of them could be sharing their screen or video so streams uh, let us say that it is an array and it is empty right now okay so that is uh, good now we will have to uh, initialize we have to install a, a few things first now we will add uh, open talk client because this is the client library let us take a look at the documentation uh, that was uh, how to now we will have to join the session as we can see right here we have to now join the session initializing a session object we need to do this uh, once we have that uh, going on so let us say in the room we will uh, bring in session import a session from uh, let's say components uh, session and this room co room component would have a component called session so if you make that clear has been registered but it is not used yes it is not used again so if we have a session we if if there is a token then there will be a session and this props would be uh, we would have an api key that would be our api key and uh, then we would have a few more things we would have the room id and that would be room id and we will have the session id that will be the session id and then we will have uh, the token also so that is as far as that goes close out session and the root requires exactly one argument fine for us because we will be putting this inside another div and put that in a p tag and uh, we will have session session something weird happened i know but then again what matters is this thing we have a styled scope uh, the p would have text align center font size let's just say uh, 2m 
Uh, now uh, let us uh, take a look at this session. If we have this, yes, what what is an error? Property is not defined on the instance. Some session ID is not defined on the instance. Yes, because it is in Pascal case. So we have a session and the session also has this information as the room has so now we can initialize our case we are, we can create a new session now join we can now connect to a session so for that we have to initialize a session object let's just copy this snippet but we have to bring in open talk for that in session.env so let us bring in open talk import ot from open talk client and then uh, when the component is created we will be doing some things so this dot api key we can initialize our open talk session with that api key and uh, this dot session id and we will call it this dot session because we have that it in the data section of this component so we can initialize this otherwise we can just say that alert uh, let's say that your browser does is not supported so if we do that uh, that will be taking care of that thing. So after why after we initialize this session, we have to connect to this session. So how do we connect to a session? Uh, we have this thing to connect to a session. We can use the snippet. We have this dot session dot connect, and we have this dot token, and we will be using ES6 functions error functions so we if we have an error that would be handled error connecting to that and error connecting to this uh, let's just keep it as it is according to the developer guide uh, console dot uh, otherwise we have connected to the session let's get rid of that and we will be uh, Let's just get rid of that and only have this part. If there is an error, then we will do something. Otherwise, we will not do anything. So, uh, connection error. Let's just say error connecting. Connection error. And we will also have to define some uh, what we can say are event handlers. What event handlers does is whenever a stream is created on when a publisher joins a video call or a new uh, stream is basically created then a you participants joins then a uh, event is emitted out by the open top client library and we can react on the basis of that as well so we can do we can definitely do that so this dot session dot on uh, if an stream is created let's just first say that if the stream is connected then event uh, let's just say we will alert that stream connected let's not do alert with do console.log here also let's just say console.error We will say that stream has been connected and if uh, this is an event of type stream connected that was uh, stream connected no i need session connected if the session has been connected the video call session uh, we have connected to this uh, connected to that session if that happens then do that otherwise if the stream has been created then uh, do this thing we take the event and uh, 
we first uh, log it to the console that is stream uh, stream created stream created and then uh, push it to the streams array streams uh, this would uh, enable us to just show many participants on the dom on the screen itself so what will we push we will be pushing this event dot stream object and if a stream is uh, somehow destroyed what are, what is the error event is defined but never used uh okay let's just say event dot section we will be printing that out mm, and otherwise if this if a stream is destroyed that is if a participant uh, disconnects or closes the tab stream destroyed then we will do something like this stream destroyed then we have to first find out the index of this stream in the streams array uh, this dot streams dot index of event dot stream let's uh, let's let's save it to an uh, idx variable and if a uh, if it is not found in this array then it will return minus one so if it is greater than that then we can do something like this this dot streams dot splice uh, index one so it will be removing one element from of the of that index so uh, that is done as far as that goes so we have some basic boilerplate and then again let us see if we have an error first place okay stream has been connected but the stream is connected uh, event dot session the stream has been connected so what is in the event object if there is no session if the session has been connected sorry stream not session has been connected session connected and this is a session connected event dot type okay yes this is a session connected event so we are now in this room now we will have to publish our video from a camera or a screen and then if there is a video then we will have to uh, as in subscribe to that stream uh, from uh, if we come from another device so we will have to create publishers and subscribers pub sub we have to do that let us create two more components uh, publisher dot view and subscriber dot view uh, so before we move ahead let us first bring all of them in and then we will do everything later uh, import publisher import publisher from components mm, publisher we will also need subscriber subscriber and this component session component will have two more components uh, that would be publisher and subscriber and then we will have those as well so for publisher uh, we have to have a session so when we when we will uh, instantiate a publisher First, we will instantiate only if we have a session publisher vf session and then we will uh, pass it a session object that would be our session and an error handler that we will be defining in a moment. Uh, we are doing this so that all the error can be handled with a similar fashion so that there is consistency. Uh, and then if we have subscriber 
let's say uh, we have another div uh, with an id subscribers and then in each one of them we uh, do a subscriber uh, v4 stream in streams for each streams we would have to subscribe to each one of them and error is our error handler and the key would be uh, let's say stream dot stream id uh, that uh, should be enough for now and then we will have to just see if all of them are correctly configured or not so let us uh, now then create that error handler methods error handler let's do this thing uh, let's just even call it a day with this thing if there is any error if error this dot error handler error and in the error handler uh, we will take the error and we'll console dot uh, log the error that is fine console uh, dot error that error so both of them have this error handler with them as well we will need to also emit a few events up from uh, down from the publisher to the session uh, because we have the session in the uh, session component and not in the publisher component so the session is up here so in the publisher let's just say uh, let us create a new component an empty div let's name it let's say publisher and uh, let's do the same for subscriber instead we will just name it subscriber and uh, then let's do this thing that let's bring in open talk here also we will not instantiate it or anything but for the prop types props will be it would be having a session session will be of type ot dot session and uh, required is false and uh, then we will also have uh, the it, we could have opts for options if we want to pass something that type will be object and uh, then we can have a required false again so we have a session and the props opts and then if we are mounted then we can do this thing i am using a normal function because otherwise we will uh, not be binding to the context and we will lose this uh, the this reference so in data we will have a publisher which is currently null and uh, let's say this dot publisher is equals to ot dot init publisher uh, it will need a target element which it will replace so uh, in view we can do this something like this so it will have this element as the reference and uh, this dot opts as from the properties we can uh, do this thing and then if there is an error if there is an error we can handle that if error uh, this dot emit error with the error and otherwise we will emit 
that uh, the publisher has been uh, created. Publisher has connected. Or publisher initialized something like that. So publisher has connected to the session. Yes, that is okay. So publisher has connected. Ah, uh, yes, we have something like this, but the template or render function not defined in publisher. Wait, what do we have here? My video is showing up correctly. Uh, but at publisher, we have an error. Fail to mount component. So let us say that it is some created. I was trying out a few new things. Yes, this is now okay. So I have some boilerplate ready. The open top client library takes care of this. So uh, I have my publisher right here, but this publisher is not yet connected to that stream. How do I know that? Because if we go to the session object, it is currently connected, but the stream uh, is not connected because I have not published it and we are not seeing it uh, in the as a stream. If we go to the inspector also, we will see that someone is connected, but they are not published. So uh, let us take a look at what is uh, inspector. Uh, the top box inspector. Let us go to the top box inspector tool. What it allows is that we will have to just uh, give it a session ID and it will uh, just let us know what is happening on that session. So it is good for debugging also. So if we search uh, for this session ID, it is fetching the session data. And it is saying that this is a call in progress. There is no user. As you can see, there is some user here, but they are uh, not actually subscribed to, uh, we are not subscribed to ourselves even. So it is just a connection that has been made to the open top uh, server, but no actual publishing has been done. There is no stream as in no data is going to their server, but we are connected. So uh, if that is all done, then we can emit uh, that the publisher created and what is the publisher? This dot publisher, publisher created. And if we have this session, now we have, we will also have to uh, have this, uh, we have to publish this thing, right? How do we publish this thing? So let us take a look at the developer guide how do we publish to a stream now publisher is like this we have we uh, yes we just did that we initialized the publisher publisher connected uh, was happen was happening and that is done yes 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 setting and let's look for publish a stream publishing a stream Yes, we have to now uh, do a session dot publish with the publisher. So we will now go to this front end code again. Uh, this uh, dot if this dot if, if there is this session if we have the session and this dot session dot if it is connected. then we will uh, call something let let's just say we will call something called publish and even if, if it is not connected but it is there but if the session is there and it means that it is uh, not really connected but it has happened so we can just say that this this is an edge case actually so the publisher uh, the publisher has the publisher is ready then we will this dot publish 
publisher initialized is that the term that uh, they, i used in my other code also let me just take a quick look at that yes publisher created publisher connected okay okay uh, i did something uh, other than that so uh, publisher connected will come later and publish completed will be there and if there is a session and on session connected we can publish if there is a session and it is not really connected then this dot session dot on session connected we can do this dot publish now uh, publisher was completed here the setup was completed but uh, let's just say that this is the publish method and it is an arrow function and we are going into that and let us uh, take a reference of our view model that is the this reference because in the uh, arrow functions we tend to lose the context so that just for that so vm dot session dot publish what is the publisher this dot publisher and what are the properties of this publisher what did i specify there did i specify anything no let just copy let me just copy this part if it is taking too much time and if we have an error in the callback then uh, i will be emitting this error again and if we do not have any error then we will just emit let's make it a guard clause we will emit publisher has been connected so uh, that is as far as that goes let me refresh and i guess we, we can have two different listener argument must be of type function received say string otherwise error okay what am i missing publish yes yes it is correct this part is correct so if we have a vm dot session then we can do that vm dot session or if not vm dot session we can just return so this is a guard clause so what is it saying what is it complaining about it is in the open talk case in the publisher listener created book the listener argument should be of type function but received a string hmm interesting or i guess uh, we would have to resort to the mounted uh, life cycle hook and not use created altogether what is the error that is happening error in mounted hook the listener argument type should be at check listener add listener hmm might be something to do about this const publish this dot publish yes yes so now we have this thing uh, session connected publish is working fine correctly we can change it back to created then we would have this room 
and now let us see we are now publishing and let's see the inspector what is happening we are actually publishing as you can see that user is one we are using one sdk one javascript sdk uh, this user is in uh, somewhere and they are publishing video streams yes they are publishing the video stream that is good we have this thing working and now we would have to set up our subscriber here what we uh, let's just take a quick look at what we did in this part so we initialized the publisher and uh, then when this publisher uh, the, if there was no error i emitted we emitted the publisher completed event publisher created event was there after it uh, did finished initializing and uh, let's and then uh, we declared a, another function that publishes if there the session is there it publishes this publisher to the uh, stream and then uh, if this is connected then we call publish otherwise we wait for the session connected event and then publish this thing so uh, that is good and then let's uh, take a look at the subscriber what are we passing into the subscriber in the session uh, we are passing the stream object so let's uh, say that props we have the stream this is of type we also need to bring in open talk here to bring in open talk here to uh, ot dot stream required let's make it false what else props had i specified when i was creating this demo and yes uh, we need a reference to the session as well so we missed that in session so session object is equal to session that is working fine and then subscriber we have a session of type ot dot session and it is not really required so i am making it required is false and then we have ops which will be an of type object and that would that is also not really uh, strictly required so we have that and when this is mounted we will call a function so let's just say we have this and then uh, we say that this dot session dot subscribe what do we subscribe to a uh, stream that we get from the uh, props subscribe this dot stream and uh, the target element is this current element the, of the current uh, component that we are dealing with and then we have what we have uh, opts this dot opts and what do we have after that uh let me take a look at subscribe stream target element properties and the callback error so if we now have an error uh we can emit if the error exists if we have an error then this dot emit error with this error so that is as far as that goes so let me take a look at what else do i need to do yes uh, otherwise subscriber connected so let me just uh, quickly copy this part otherwise yes subscriber connected and then we can say that this emit subscriber created we created a subscriber 
so this would actually not work right now because we need to subscribe uh, we need a subscriber object in the data part as well this dot subscriber and data uh, yes subscriber is null in the beginning then we have this so if we when the session is created it is working fine let me just mute myself and go into incognito mode and go to this i am allowing this and do i see another thing uh we see many people okay 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 and if i leave that stream stream destroyed got called 14 times but we still have possible event emitter memory leak we had a memory leak yep 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 we had a memory leak what did we do so uh, let me take a look at session yes we did that if error is error handler uh then we have a publisher that did that that is not required it that did that thing then it subscribed to this element and this stream so what went wrong publisher completed and publisher connected events took place and then what happened then i the, then there is a publisher created Uh, this is the memory leak that we are doing in the publisher itself so let me take a look if we are uh, doing this live so this is really useful because I can also learn from the experience uh, we have streams is empty uh, before but then uh, we have stream for stream in streams. Uh, what do we have in here? The stream session. Okay. That was the part that we went from. Subscribers. Then we had to have another uh, thing called of subscriber and then we had to do this thing instead of that we need to have another div otherwise there was a memory leak so memory leaks in web applications is definitely possible uh, let me take a look at this key so okay I have to copy this from here and put it there and then just let let's just put it here and call it a day now this should work perfectly fine here if i allow this yes no 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 another memory leak happened uh, whenever we tried to create this thing uh where did it go wrong subscriber and we were missing a session stream in streams we were missing the stream uh, let's just uh, stop the development server and start it again to just clean things up a little bit so we have a stream right here going and i allow it here again we have a memory leak yes we have a memory leak anyway so it is in the publisher created and a publisher completed 
think that part is going wrong somewhere so let's take a look uh, so uh, what do we have here in the publisher section we have this thing session connected and publisher connected the thing is in publisher so if i just copy this thing will it work No, we still have that. So the problem is not in the session. Let's take a look around this. So if we have a session. we have this error handler let me just copy this part so we can really debug which part of the code is going wrong uh, we will come to the styling bit a bit bit later so if this is working why is it not yes yes yes, uh, yes that work that part worked actually so what so we have an error here itself uh, so let's take a look at what is the error what was the error that we had we, if we connect with this token If system requirements is one, otherwise, on session connected stream created, stream destroyed. We pushed it. Okay. Interesting. uh and otherwise we had an error handler for session as well let me just go with the other thing as well only that i created earlier but you uh, just noted how uh, it was to create the application so we might be missing a thing here or there so this is the dev id session that we created and that uh, the, th the things are same here we pass on a session uh, to the stream destroyed event and this part is basically the same and then it is uh, to be noted that uh, when we use the open top client library we have some classes that is the ot underscore subscriber and ot underscore publisher so we can uh, make use of that as well so if we have to uh, uh, that is highlight the publisher we can say that border is equals to uh, let's say we add a five pixel border solid uh, green we add a solid green border to the publisher will that work let's just see let's inspect this element uh ot underscore let's just say that the document dot query selector all does this work dot ot underscore publisher yes we have an ot underscore publisher And okay, then we might have to add an important flag to it. Let's just see 
let us create another stream again and we join, join in so yeah that part works actually so no hard feelings something is working but we can actually uh, customize all the ui elements if you go to the uh, developer guide itself we can customize the ui how would we uh, customize the ui if we, we can display or hide a name uh, we can set the dimensions we can be we can add an audio meter as in how uh, what is the intensity or volume of what we are saying it will be cool to see that as well so we have this subscriber and this model and if we actually want uh, let me connect uh, this thing from my phone now so we have this thing but that is running on a development server so what if we have to uh, as in serve this on a mobile phone because uh, if you know mobiles do not allow access to the uh, devices like camera or microphone if the uh, site of the website or the application is not uh, hosted on an https protocol so for that uh, we would need https so let us do one thing uh, ng rock good tunnel uh, it it creates a tunnel uh, to the internet and gives you a unique idea every time you do this thing so i will use ng rock and will open up http port at 5000 where our express server is opening so okay i have an uh, ng rock session so let me pkl ng rock okay so then we have this thing we have this url ng rock url and i will swap it out for this and let's build this view application for production so it it will uh, put it out on the dist directory that is there and we will have an index html so that can be served by express so the build is complete we have a dist folder and let's say uh, okay now it is working fine let me just copy this thing and go here and instead of that uh, let me swap it out for this you are in uh, this domain right here we will we will hopefully see the same thing yes I am allowing it I don't have any errors the session has been connected so if I send this to my phone now I send this to my phone and let me join in from my phone now I did not actually get the notification so let me try it again Okay, so let I did not get the notification actually so I guess something is up it says it sent but did not so let me just type it out on my phone manually but let me just create a short URL for this uh, let me go to my URL shortener and uh, let's just so do this so I created this short URL. Let me go to url.host.pro slash p872yl. So I got redirected to here. So on my phone, I am now asked to if I want to use the camera or microphone. So uh, as you can see, uh, I am muting myself so it is actually working pretty well I can again uh, take a look at the phone as well and that is uh, looking great on my device and even on this device I can see that uh, color coming in and if I just uh, destroy this stream 
as in close the tab on my mobile so i see that that stream is has gone away so stream has been just uh, destroyed so pretty cool to see that happen so that was uh, from my side today we created an express application for uh, creating a route to create all these sessions and manage the tokens uh, to the uh, to send to the client and then on the front end side we created an view application uh, which granted us access uh, to the room using the open talk uh, client sdk so we created a session using the credentials that we got from our backend server and then we created uh, we created a publisher and published our stream and then we subscribed to other streams as well uh, you can also share your screen as mentioned in the developer guide itself we can also do recording that is the archive functionality we can also build in uh, built in chat using signaling and moderation you can also remove certain people from the certain participants from the stream itself using the rest apis and we all already have this insights api as part of the vonage api offerings so if you have to, if you have to create reports and obtain metadata you can do that video codex it uses vp8 otherwise h.264 is also supported so that was a bit a little bit a lunch time stream afternoon stream after the christmas so start uh, using this vonage video apis they are really cool and these are some sample applications that have already been created so if i go uh, to the ruby simple client server uh, they have used a sinatra for generating the tokens and giving it to the client and on the javascript side again open talk to library is using uh, it being used to create the session and do the publishing and all so we will meet you on the other side of the stream on the other side on another stream if i get time to stream this week or the next week so we have uh, too many users because uh, we did leak the memory a little bit so let me just go to home and uh, come to uh, another room so we will have a fresh start from the beginning so here if we have this we actually lose control to the view because this is a production build so that is fine so even if we send this link over to my phone and I join it again from here then also this is a totally a different stream, stream but that works so uh, uh, let's call it a day then. Uh, goodbye and let me pay, play some uh, outro music before we go. So uh, here it goes. We worked with Vonage APIs today to build a, build a, a web application to do some basic video chat. And uh, here it goes. Let me go to my stream and mute myself a little bit